Hire doers, service level agreements are commitments you make with your customers to outline how a service is delivered. At Stealthy Wood, we take advantage of them because they set standards, responsibilities, and create realistic frameworks. Without SLAs, we would be more vulnerable to misunderstanding as we would not handle prioritization as well. So let me show you how we implemented this at Stealthy Wood. All right, here I am on my database, specifically looking at the help desk application. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is jump to configuration, help desk teams. Then on the specific team, I need to be sure that I have the SLA policies option activated, which I do here. All right, so then we're gonna to go to configuration, SLA policies and create a new one. So I'm gonna click on create. Of course, I'm gonna need a policy name. So I'm gonna call this uh, close urgent tickets within 24 hours. Okay, and then I'll say uh, what I would like to apply this to. So I'm gonna select my team. Now all of the teams where I have that option activated will appear here and I can select between them. So let's go ahead and say support level two. And then I'll say the minimum priority should be three stars. Now that means that if a ticket has uh, three stars, then this SLA policy can be assigned to it. Um, it goes the same for the, SL, uh, for the ticket type as well. So I'm gonna say the minimum priority should be three stars and the ticket type should be issue, okay? Now for the target, uh, we're gonna say what the minimum stage is, uh, or the minimum stage of the ticket needs to be in in order for this SLA to be satisfied. So we're gonna say that the minimum stage is solved and we should reach this in one day. Okay, I can even add a description of the policy if I would like to, but let's go ahead and save this. All right, once it's saved, we're gonna go back to our overview and create a new ticket for the support level two. All right, so let's create that ticket now. Okay, and I'm just gonna call this, let's say ticket, uh, okay, let's do something a bit more creative than ticket one, two, three. Let's go ahead and say defective office chairs. Okay, I can um, go ahead and add that ticket type issue because we know it needs to be an issue and also have the priority of three stars. Okay, and then I'm gonna add my customer. So let's go ahead and make Adrian our customer. And then I'll just say chairs are defective. And then we're gonna save this. Now, once it's saved, if this ticket um, satisfies all of the things that we have defined on our SLA, um, we should have an SLA deadline, which we see right here. Okay, so I know that this needs to be done 24 hours uh, from now. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and assign it to me by clicking on the Assign to Me button, but I can also click on Edit and manually assign it to someone else as well. All right, so we're gonna save this. Once it's been created, our customer, Adrian, should have received an email. So let's go ahead and check that. All right, I have that email right here. And then we can view the ticket. So what the customer will see by clicking on view ticket here. And then the customer will be able to uh, respond to you through their portal. So let's go and send say um, any news in regards to this and send. Okay, and then when we go back, we're going to refresh the page. Do do do. And we're going to see his message in the chatter just like that. All right. And once it's done, of course, we're then going to move it from, well, new, eventually in progress when they start working with the customer, to solved. And once it's solved, we're gonna see the tag here is going to turn green and that deadline is removed. That means that we have successfully uh, achieved our goal. Let's go back to our overview, all right? If I wanna see those SLAs, I can do that simply by clicking on this button right here on the team overview, see SLAs, and I have that ticket right here. So it's super easy to set this up. Definitely take advantage. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.